painting the Death Watch Librarian. I primed the model in Army Painter's matte black. I'll start with natural steel from Vallejo and paint the entire left arm. I use Vallejo's black gray to paint the joints on the right and left arm. Retributor armor from Citadel will be used to paint the ornamental pieces on the top of the hand and the left shoulder. I'll use Nun Oil from Citadel to wash the entire right arm. I'll be using Prussian blue on the power sword and then also on the hand to try and give the effect of the model casting his psychic powers. I drop the paint directly into the feeder and then I mix it with water and flow improver. I don't use exact measurements uh, but it's a one to one ratio where one is the paint and one is half flow improver, half water. And then I have a paintbrush whose sole purpose is to mix the paint in the feeder. Once that's uh, mixed up with the paintbrush, I'll cover the nozzle with my hand and uh, do a backwash inside the feeder to get the paint nice and mixed. And then just test it on my glove to make sure it's flowing nicely. Now I'll go back and forth between the inside of the hand and the sword until I got a nice solid foundation on both. From a greater distance away, I'll spray some onto the top and the outside of the hand. Next, I'm going to use some sky blue to airbrush some highlights onto the sword and the hand. So I'm going to drop the sky blue into the feeder that's been rinsed out because I used most of the blue. And then I'm going to use the one to one ratio again, one being the sky blue and one being half water, half um, flow improver. 
And then I'll use my uh, brush once again that's used just for stirring the pot to just mix the paint. And they say you want it to get it to be the consistency of milk when it runs down the side of the feeder. So that's what I go for. I used to be afraid of my airbrush. And so in the past, I would have tried doing this with a dry brushing technique. But I definitely recommend giving it a try. I use one of the cheaper airbrushes because I'm pretty harsh on it. And some of the things I do with it probably would make the experts cringe. So just like before, I'll block the airflow with my hand and I'll let the backwash do the rest of the mixing for me. Then I'm going to paint the inside of the hand, uh, doing my best to make the center of the hand the brightest part. Then I'm going to highlight the edges of the hand. I'm using my thumb to block the rest of the model. Also as a guide, I'm going to start by painting my thumb so I know exactly where the paint's going and then move up and get the highlights done. I'm going to highlight the sword by uh, starting to paint right off to the side until I see the paint starting to hit the sword. And then from there I'll know exactly where it's going and get the highlights I'm looking for. If there's ever enough paint left in the feeder that weren't saving, I use these empty paint bottles to store it at least until the end of the project, just in case I have to go back and use that color again. Next I'm going to use Vallejo Red for the cloak. This will take at least two, maybe even three, uh, fine coats to get a nice solid red. I'm going to use Dark Sand from Vallejo to paint the inside of the cloak 
and any parts of the cloak that are folded over that's showing the inside. I'll use Burnt Umber to paint the book that's on his hip, as well as the leather belt. For the pages of the book, I'm going to use Silver Gray from Vallejo. I'm going to use a sepia wash for the parts of the model that were painted with the dark sand color. And then I'm going to go back with the dark sand and highlight the edges of the inside of the cloak that were washed once it's dried, of course. I'm going to use Citadel's Retributor armor for the chest emblem, the belt buckle, and parts of the sword. I'm going to use red from Vallejo to paint the shoulder pad and once again this will take a couple of thin coats. I'll use a crimson wash from Vallejo on the cloak. Then I'm going to take a thin down coat of Vallejo Red and go back over some of the portions of the coat uh, that should be a solid red and where I don't want the wash to be so predominant.
and I'm going to use silver gray to paint the scrolls on the purity seals. I'll also paint the banner on the arm as well. I'm also going to sneak some onto the eyes at this point, which will later be painted over red. I'll apply a wash to those scrolls with some Agrax Earthshade from Citadel. I'll use sky blue from Vallejo to paint the accented part of the sword. Army Painter's matte black will be used to paint the skull and the horns on the shoulder pad. I'm going to use Cassandora Yellow to wash all of the parts of the model that were painted with the Retributor armor. I'm going to use Vallejo Red to paint the eyes that were previously painted white. Uh, that way it won't take as many coats for it to be as bright. Natural steel will be used to paint the link connecting the lock to the book on his hip as well as the keys that are on his left hip. I'll wash the leather portions of the belt with Agrax Earthshade. Red from Vallejo will be used to paint the purity seals.
I'll use natural steel from Vallejo to paint the uh, exhaust vents on the jetpack. I'm also going to use the natural steel to paint the face mask. I'm going to use uh, red Prussian blue and some natural steel for the wires that are on top of the head. I'll use dark gray for the tubing that's connecting parts of the helmet to the face mask. I'll use the black gray as well to paint the wires or tubes that are coming from the hands to the shoulders. I'll take some nun oil and I'll apply a wash to those parts that were just painted. I'll use a crimson wash from Citadel to wash the purity seals. I'm going to use orange red from Vallejo to highlight the edges of the uh, robe.
I then added a little red to that orange and I'm going to highlight some of the uh, actual parts of the robe and that I think should be the brightest part. I'm going to take the same silver gray that the purity seals were painted with and highlight the edges of the scroll. While I was highlighting the edges of the cloak with the orange red, I should have taken care of the purity seals at that time, but I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'll use dark gray to highlight any pieces of the black armor uh, that are left. For the base, I'm going to use uh, Surface Primer Black from Vallejo and just paint the bottom rim of the base. There is some tubing that will go on his front chest and I saved that for last. I'm going to paint those with uh, Prussian blue. On the very ends of the tubing I'll use matte black from Army Painter. That's the portion that connects to the armor. Once those have dried, I'll use some uh, Darkening Hoff Nightshade to wash those two pieces. Once I've attached them to the model, I'll give them one final highlight with some sky blue. I also, at some point while doing this, changed his eye color to sky blue as well. Once the model has had time to dry, I'll use some Model Master's Lustrous Flat and apply a coat or two to protect the model. And there you have it, my Death Watch Librarian ready to hit the table painting. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Other than that, thanks for watching.